and the forgotten painting found in storage that turned out to be a hidden masterpiece. The forgotten masterpiece in South East London that has resurfaced after six decades. The 18th century painting is part of the collection at the Royal Museum's Greenwich, except they didn't really know they had it. Wendy Hurrell can explain. Behind the scenes in this unit, the Royal Museum's Greenwich stores its art when not on display. Well, this is half of the paintings, the other half are through that door there. So this is, you know, sort of just, just a section. Turns out there's been a masterpiece hidden away here. It used to hang in that space there. A painting discovered to be by one of the most important British artists of the 18th century. Stored away for a really long time. For a really long time, yeah. So at least 30 years it's been in storage. We you know it came into the collection in 1960 and there's every possibility it you know, has almost never been displayed in that time or sort of very rarely. So kind of 60, what, three years now of kind of being hidden away in, in rooms like this. <laughs> and here it is, recently attributed to Thomas Gainsborough. There were telltale signs curators noticed, confirmed by Hugh Belsey, an authority on the painter. Gainsborough tended to use a warm brown ground for a lot of his paintings, which was quite unusual compared to some of his contemporaries. So if you look at certain areas like his eyebrows, there's actually very little paint there. He's really economic in his use of paint and there's a few brush strokes which are used to kind of delineate the eyebrow hairs. Those brush strokes, understood to be too coarse by a curator in the 60s, are actually a rare example of Gainsborough's early work. The discovery or, or the rediscovery of this particular painting is really significant because it, it's one of the sort of rare examples we have, um, certainly in a public collection and sort of s surviving at all, of this moment in Gainsborough's career capturing this sort of stage in his kind of evolution towards the painter that people are perhaps more familiar with. Dulled with dust and yellowing varnish, now they've got some work to do. It's actually a quite immediate conservation concern in that the paint layers themselves are quite unstable. So there are certain areas that you can see here where the paint is actually lifting and flaking, but nothing that we can't fix here. <laughs> the museum is hoping to crowdfund £60,000 for the restoration. He's not going back up there. He's not going back up there, no, he's going on display. <laughs> then we can actually share him with visitors so it's not tucked away in this sort of, you know, wonderful sort of Aladdin's cave of treasures, but that's kind of hidden away from, from public view um, and actually put him in the Queen's house where we display all our kind of, the, the real highlights of our art collection and in the gallery with other 18th century naval portraits. So you can see, you know, Gainsborough alongside all of his contemporaries and sort of, you know, give him his place in that sort of pantheon of, of great artists. Wendy Hurrell. BBC London.